Hello, everybody. Hello. I'm Teresa. And I'm Carpenter. And we are tired. <laughs> very, very tired. It's been a lot longer day than what we had anticipated. Had a yep. few surprises along the way. Oh, yes, we did. Yes, thanks to me. So we were on our way to the one hotel that we thought would be okay. I thought it would be halfway decent. Yes. I mean, it was... You had actually recommended uh, that area to me before, and so mm -hmm. I thought it was halfway decent. Uh, the reviews were a little bit iffy. It was only like yeah. 3.4 stars, but it was the best rated uh, hotel that I could really find that was in kind of that general vicinity within, you know, 15 minutes of right. work. Right, right. But unfortunately, um, as soon as I got there, I was doing a bit of multitasking, which I'm very famous for doing. And in the very midst bad. of <laughs> doing very poor multitasking I left my luggage by my car and uh, yes after a long day of finally finishing up the, my job and hopefully leaving it in a good place for my relief um, just wanted to get back to the room change go eat dinner and go check in and uh, as I was going into the lobby I realized that there was one piece of luggage that I didn't have with me so immediately I thought oh it's probably in the car and so I go back to the car and it's not there. And then I'm trying to remember what I might have done. And I thought, you know what, maybe I left it by the car. Went back around, checked by the car, went back into the lobby, then went back by the car. And at this point, all I could assume, just from the looks of some of the people we were seeing in the vicinity of the area, is yeah, that- It was a sketchy area for sure. There's, there's not many hotels that you see multiple people working on their cars in you know yeah. they have you know straight up had their hoods up and you know not not very nice no. cars and no. the people walking around were definitely shady it yes i had it wasn't I felt a good place even when i got out of the car and my spiny sense was up and yeah. uh it was not a bad it was not a good choice of hotel at all no. we uh we needed to just pony up and spend more money as as we, we did. did now. I mean, now we're, we're in a lot nicer place. Very right now. nice place with a beautiful view that we hope to show you guys tomorrow. Yeah, we got a picture. But uh, yes, I uh, definitely learned my lesson. And uh, the good news was, and this is the reason why we don't want to mention the hotel by name, is that the lo hotel lobby staff were wonderful. They actually went through their camera footage. Okay, so there is Teresa's white car right there, and this is going to be the one where they uh, stole her luggage. So let's hit play, fast forward a little bit after, you know, these three cars have their little dealings with each other. Uh, who knows what exactly they are uh, buying, selling, or doing. But uh, fast forward it, he's going to go and turn around. Um, but then that guy walks into his little silver car and makes it a little bit awkward when he gets out probably the first time to go and try to steal it. You know, they're obviously talking. They know each other. Um, but yeah, he gets out, goes, and oh crap, that guy's in his car about to back up. I might as well move. So then he goes and moves his car. But it gets a bit awkward as he's moving it because there's another truck that comes in and kind of gets all up in his way. So he has to pull. Oh, no, car. Not a truck. So he has to pull onto this spot and then kind of do an awkward little backup maneuver, but easy enough for him to do. He is a well-seasoned thief. And uh, yeah, then this time the passenger gets out, moves a couple things, throws the luggage in, and done. And then they disappear before Teresa could make it back to her car. And this whole time, I'll just hit the reverse button. See that up at the top? That's me backing in. So I pull, got there right as he is putting that into his car. Freaking sucks. Uh, I filed a police report and just gotta kind of eat up my losses. So I went to Walmart and Costco and uh, now I have clothes for the road. A, a lot of uh, interesting things that I normally don't wear <laughs> yeah. like strange stretch pants like these, but um, it, it's gonna be okay. We'll, we'll, we'll make the best of it as we always do and uh, you know, this is part of the journey, and it's a lesson learned and something I won't do again. Yep, and it just sucks so bad watching the footage because we were driving separate cars and coming from separate places, and I could straight up see myself backing into a parking spot, 
while this guy was getting out of his car to grab the luggage. And yeah. if I only knew where Teresa was parked, you know, just a little bit past me, I would have pulled in right next to her and been like, why in the heck is your luggage out here, you know? Come on. Yeah, there was but, oh, only about a five-minute time frame that I was inside the lobby, and this person had the opportunity to take my luggage. So... But it all worked out. We went and got me some new clothes for the road and uh, went to dinner downtown, which was nice, a, a good dinner, and uh, now we're back at the room. Yeah, so like Line Screw said, you know, we kind of did stay at a homeless shelter, but uh, yeah, yeah. We, we left there soon after because, oh my gosh, it was bad. It was, and I couldn't, I was not comfortable staying there after what happened. Uh, there was Even no before way. what happened, it yeah. was an empty place for no, sure. I totally agree, and I, I thought that. There was something in me yeah. that gave me this sense that, like, I'm not, this isn't nice, but I've stayed at really trashy places before, and I've been okay with it, but this time I just felt like this is definitely something we shouldn't be doing. So. Yeah, and so you left your luggage outside. Yes, I did, but... <laughs> All right, well, we will uh, be on the road tomorrow and can't wait to keep you guys posted yep. and keep you uh, appraised of our journeys and travels, and hopefully we'll have some, some better luck in the oh, coming Oh, there days. will be some good stories for sure, yes. but uh, starting out the trip on a, a bad note. <laughs> yeah, well, not, not really. We got a horrible. nice dinner, and there was nothing valuable in the luggage, by the way. There was no... Uh, there was yeah, no, luckily yeah. they didn't open the car, which was probably unlocked, but or break into the windows. Like I was afraid was they were going to break into the windows because you know at that point in time, uh, we hadn't had a chance to kind of meet up and swap luggage right. between cars because you know I'm really always into you know making it look like there's nothing in a car at all yeah. and you know making it just you know she has a. a a uh, little hatchback and so you know closing the little drawer thing on the top so you can't see if there's anything underneath it and, mm -hmm. you know closing the trunk making sure nothing's in the car because you know right. if there's nothing to see people generally aren't going to break in for nothing that they can't see yep and uh th there they could see stuff you know they looking could. in and so yep. we're just glad that they didn't yeah that's that's know. the thankful part yeah. about it is that they didn't take off with anything of any real value and uh, it's a lesson learned on my end to not be multitasking maybe not pick the trashiest hotel or when I have a, a spiny sense about something uh, talk it over and see if it's really what we what we want to do yep. but uh, getting on the road tomorrow and can't wait to catch up with you guys yep. again soon heading to Vegas tomorrow yep I can't wait it'll be good all okay. right talk to y'all later bye, bye.